What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome back to some more Vicky 3 as Great Ching. We are in the midst of, well, we just got out of a war. We're not in the midst of a war anymore. We're at peace, um, where we just kind of watched uh, France fail to invade J Japan. So that's the thing. Uh, we're focusing now internally here. We're building out some universities, building some paper mills, and setting up ourselves to start working on some of the things that we have uh, dire shortages of. Uh, opium is one of those things. Uh, can't really do anything about that. We've banned the opium trade, and we're just going to have to take the lumps that come with that up until uh, our thing times out in three years. We kind of want to stay at peace for that duration here. Um, I will have her do some small wars here and there whenever our infamy ticks down enough to where I uh, feel like we should. Uh, cough, cough, uh, Siam over here will probably get visited uh, by our great troops here. Um, we also still have a modifier that is really hurting us, and that is the widespread open fiction for another three years. That's making our army really weak, um, so we need to be careful about doing any big wars until that ticks down. But three years is not a lot of time in the early game, so that will all get past. Um, in terms of laws, we're making a push for landed voting. Uh, this will get us our first actual elections. Our government is still heavily dominated by uh, the scholar officials. So have to deal with that. I think we might make some... Oh, might might break some eggs and try to get some things done. Um, let's actually do the trade unions. Can I get the trade unions in power early game? I've never been able to do it. They're very, very much a late game thing. Um, but I want to make the shift to communists as fast as possible. I want to I wanna see. So like, if we look over here, how do we make you stronger? Let's look at the party and not the guys. So... We need only pops with these criteria will consider supporting this interest groups. We need arist not aristocrats, not capitalists, not shopkeepers, not officers. Okay. Uh, commercialized agriculture or collectivized agriculture. Um, strata is equal to lower strata, not employed in specific culture and not employed in agriculture itself. So we need more industry. We need industry, we need factories, and we need them yesterday. So that's the whole thing. So Egypt and the Ottomans are having a fight. Okay. I can get involved in that. Um, I also want to get a claim over here in Ethiopia. We might do some expeditions over in that region. What, what will I get here? Trade agreement or an obligation. Doesn't matter to me. Now, Siam, my friend, you have... Let's see, I need to have, what's that, 7.5 of me to attack you? We'll do that very soon. Very, very soon. In fact, we can kind of do it now. All right, we've passed our cap of education or, or innovativeness. That's fine. Uh, in case you're unaware, anything that you have over the cap uh, will go towards your passive spread. So right now, let's let's kind of test that. Right now, we have four of these being built. Um, and a subset of that should go to our passive spread. So if we look at our spread for mechanical tools, right? We get 18 through 55. Let's go and watch and see what happens when we build out more of these. Um, so remember, 18 through 55 was the range of passive spread. And we might have seen that go up by one here. Let's go ahead and do a war here while we wait. Let's do our protectorate one. And let's check that in. So 18 to 55 has now stayed 18 to 55. That makes sense because it's divided three ways. Come on. These have to get built and worked before we will see the change implemented here. What is this? This is the Sikkim versus the Sikkim Aristocratic Revolt. Would any of you become my subject? No, that would have been cool, because they have... Uh, oh, actually, it's Bhutan who has the access to uh, the other nation. I actually, now that I realize it, I can't... Okay, we'll have to sway Burma here, because I don't have a market a way to reach these guys without war. Uh, get my large army here. Let's do the one that has cautious advance. That gets me a front. Okay. Let's take that number again. So... What was that 15 to, what was that 1555 is now 1856 or was it we might have gained one here so it does increase this value ever so slowly uh, if we look over here you know it gets our spread up um, and when you're behind each little point counts so we can still keep investing into our universities when it makes sense to do so uh, we will get the improved relations with Russia of course Banjar doesn't matter uh, we definitely don't want to boost the scholar officials right now so that's all good. Yeah, nothing out of either of you. You will come in with a war goal for Dynam. Actually, humiliate with Siam is fine for me. For Dynam. 
they will arrange to go to that side. We're just going to push right for their capital. And everything should be fine. I see we're losing some money. I bet you our diplomatic packs have died down. They have. Uh, which means GB is probably not paying us. Or GB is collapsed. One of the two. They're not paying us. So that's now done. We could attack them for war reps. We know how to get war reps from them pretty easily. This war is still ongoing, by the way. So thank God we got out of that. Um, let's see how our lines are doing. We're doing fine in this region, doing fine in this region. Our paper mills are getting built. Let's look at our paper shortage. That's not terrible. Uh, we still have an iron shortage, but we are actually... We're getting atmospheric engine pumps, right? Ah, oh, that reminds me. I didn't get... I have into agriculture now. Let's go ahead and kick some things over here. Uh, we want to do increased wool gathering. Yes, and we're going to go ahead and kick over our soil or wheat farms to soil enriched agriculture. And then we'll do our rice farms as well. That's going to create a shortage of fertilizer. So we're going to need to go and start a fertilizer industry in one of our regions. We'll do... We'll do Hinan. We're going to do five for now. Keep those in queue. Uh, we'll kind of... Uh, let's kick some of these paper mills down, actually. Don't need to do all of them at once because we don't actually have a shortage of them. And each of these... Well, how much does each of these build? So look at our industry for fertilizer. 90 per. And we just built five. That's 450. Um, can I bolster that? So glass works, lead glass, we would actually lose money. Uh, lathes here will be good for us. It requires more tools to make more furniture. Dyes, we would make just base profit up. Sweeteners are going to be good for us. We want to do that. Unbalanced trade. Um, tariffs on imports, but more trade route volume. We would lose authority. We didn't have excess authority. That's fine. Fertilizer plant, we don't actually have improved fertilizer yet. So... Oh, and that requires iron as well. Okay. So we're gonna, let's go up to a full 10 fertilizer industries. And we'll import some for now while we have a shortage. Import route. There's no one who has an import route for us. Ah, we need to make some convoys. Okay, so I am as fallen. I actually was not paying attention to that at all. So go. Good thing we can just have that fight itself. Um, but that's all figured out now. Okay, these guys like me. How do... It's also improved with Chiang Ma, right? Because these are our subjects now. Right? Tributary of Siam, who will be our subject. Yeah, so have all these guys like me as well. And Dynam should be... When's our truce up with Dynam? 25 months. So in two years, we can do something with Dynam. Also enacted for landed voting is progressing. There we go. Adoption phase. We'd like to see it. We'd like to see it. Dealing with our iron mine shortages. We should be good there. As your engine pumps can require us to get some coal industries. So let's go and get a coal mine queued up in Beijing. Now, the funny thing about Beijing... Or, well, I guess it's not really funny, but... Uh, Beijing, if you're unaware, has a bonus to coal mine production. So that's actually going to be a really good thing for us. Uh, we'll do only three coal mines for now. And once we get coal mines, we can actually kick over to producing coal in our... Um, our urban centers. Which will give us more services, which will get us more taxes from services, which will just be good. Do I want to spend my authority to get another tax set up to kind of reduce our spending? I think we're fine. We should be all right in that regard here. The bank roll would have been really great with uh, France, but you live and you learn. Can't win them all. Uh, what I want to do now, I think what I want to do is I want to take five troops from the plain red banner, throw them in our army over here. Just get them all moved over. And how close are we to getting ourselves line infantry? It's still to spread. I'm thinking of making a, a push for Africa to get us a little colony over there. Uh, we've been embargoed again by GB. We've stayed embargoed with them, so that should not matter. So how is this shortage affecting our production of grain? We have a ton of excess. Oh, we actually are losing a lot right now. Well, no, we're fine. Okay, let's check our trade routes. Anything that's not making a ton of money here. Importing tool, importing, and then importing boats. Okay. This one for 203 is not really, like, just compare it, right? It's, actually, if you multiply that by four, you're still actually less than this. I guess those are, those two are kind of equivalent in scale. I need more of these ones that allow you to do the, the ones for free. Okay. Land voting is going to get finished real soon. We like that. 
Great Britain can't decide whether or not they want to embargo us. They keep turning it on and off again, um, which is the whole thing. Yeah, there they go. They're back at it on. And how are the literati in our trading? Can I just bolster these guys? No, bolstering's not going to do anything because they don't have any factories to support them yet. Okay, I'm getting sick and tired of those damn pop-ups. Okay, we're going to get through our queue here. Um, I'm just going to let our time kind of tick down. Uh, we may or may not uh, be able to make Dynam into a... God damn, they're embargoes. Um, into a Dominion soon. And we're just going to wait to try to get Line of Infantry, which should be spreading next. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to spread next. So let's wait and see just to confirm. Should be at the turn of the... Yeah, Line of Infantry is spreading. So we're going to get Line of Infantry, and then we're going to make probably a play for this region in Africa. Um, and I'll bring you guys back once we can uh, get through the rest of this queue here. So see you soon. All right, landed voting has just passed, and uh, that means our first elections are happening. So we can uh, look to see what's going to happen there. Also, I looked into Hinan, and uh, we are not able to hire uh, because we have too much expenses for uh, us to actually produce stuff, even though you would think that this would be super valuable. Um, so we need to actually drive up the demand for fertilizer here. I also need to pause because we're having some things happen. So the Grand Party is just the role folk. We don't care about them. And now we have stopped dealing with opium. There we go. All right, no one is obsessed with opium. We get bonus. Uh, what do we want? Do we want to have authority and influence? Or do we want mortality and radicals? For 19 years. I think I'd rather have the mortality and the radicals. Because our radicals have grown pretty, pretty large there, you see. 27. That just jumped down from 43. So we just lost 16 million radicals in one fell swoop. Tenant Farmers actually has a motion to pass. That is really good. Well, let's do that. They lose eight for that. We can try it. And let's look at Henan. So Henan is the state where we are building uh, Henan. Our things in here. And we need to have... Let's also where our sulfur mines are. Interesting. So you actually make money. You should hire now because you have a, a bonus production. Do I need more iron? And we'll try. A three. So from 20 to, to zero. You're outputting nothing. Okay. You have the vacancies. Who's winning the election, by the way? Okay, nothing, nothing new. Nothing new there. Uh, we'll throw both these guys into power once the election's done. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, embargoes are happening in the background. Don't worry about those. So more iron could be good for us to kind of deal with this, I think. Let's move the, the, the fertilizer plants down because that doesn't give us anything. But I want to get an iron mine in somewhere where it matters. Let's do Shang-Chi and get two and ten iron mines here. Um, so we decrease our, we fix our iron problem. I think we'll be good with the fertilizer as well because iron will go down, fertilizer will have more value, and it'll be all good here. So let's throw everybody involved into here. Can I just throw everybody in? What do we lose by having the Amoretti in? Or the uh, Literati, I say. Anti-slavery, Republican is fine. And we're not going to do any of those anyway. So let's just keep this group involved. Empower the rural folk. Yes, get me tenant farmers. And get it now. Okay. So with these coal mines being built in Beijing, what I want to do next is to turn on gas street lights, right? It just converts coal directly into services, um, which is just good. And it just saves us wood and glass, which are expensive. So it's going to start our demand for coal. Um, but the bonus services makes it more things we can tax here. Do I want the lower strata pop? Shanxi, where is... Let's look at Shanxi. How big of a state is Shanxi? We're going to actually do the micro. So Shanxi, if I move down a little bit, is a state of 15 million. How many of those people are lower strata? Most of them. We'll do that. Two more loyalists. Two million more loyalists. We'll, easy dub. We'll take that every time. Trade agreement with the French. We'll do it. I'm fine with that. I would love to get an alliance with Russia. I need the diplomatic rep to do so. Who can I rival that I don't care about? 
I don't care about the Netherlands. I don't care about the Ottomans. I don't care about Sweden. And that's fine. Let's get an alliance with Russia. That sounds good. So now Russia will be on our side in the wars to come. Okay. I ignore what's happening over there. So is it was this the one that I was looking at? Was Hunan? Or is it Hinan? Where is Hinan? There it is. So we are now driving down the price of iron a little bit by building more iron mines. Let's look at how our, our demand for that. It's at 67. Popular player interest reform. We will take the bonus, of course. So that should resolve itself a little bit. Then we need to start looking at glass and luxury furniture here. As well as glow groceries, huh? Trade routes. Losing money on that one. Hmm. What do we have a good export for? I know this one is a no-brainer. One thing that costs us like zero. Okay, that's kind of crazy. To the British, I know we have we have an embargo with them. How does that work? Let's let's stop embargoing you. So what does this do? Let's just see. Like, what if I did this? It just damages relations, so I can still trade with them. Didn't think that was how an embargo worked. And that suddenly that was gone. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, they're adjusting each week here. Let's do. We'll do the Ottoman one for now. And we will uh, lose some bureaucracy because of this law passing, but that's all good. Okay. Anything else I can sell for? This is not actually a ton, but it is free to do it to some people. Like, a lot to the Dutch here is going to be good. Oh, I guess it's because they keep embargoing us and stopping embargoing us, which is why we're, it's coming, it's, it's disappearing and coming back. Looks like our fertilizer was going up there for a second. So if I look at Hidnan, are you producing now? No, you're still not. How's our iron? 600 deficit. I need this value to go down a little bit. Right? Increasing the scale in Hinan. So, Shank C, are you actually hiring? You're full up hired. Need tools, but iron is correct enough that you're still making money despite the lack of tools. Speaking of, how are we. Oh, we did get atmospheric engine. I didn't kick over. Shit. I didn't have that. I didn't see the pop up. Okay, that'll fix this. Atmospheric engine pumps and all of these. Yes, thank you. We built our iron mines. Kick these over to gas street lights. I have been slacking. Sulfite, uh, just more is good. Steel tools, we don't have steel entry yet. Uh, precision tools, we can't do. You know, you need lathes. Yeah, do lathes. And then precision tooling. That'll make you enough money. And... We'll have to fix the problems that we're seeing elsewhere before I do things else. Uh, sawmills, yes. Fishing trawlers, please. And we'll go to butchering tools later. I have to fix the other stuff before I do that. And we'll kick you back to um, apple orchards. And we won't do tooling for the pop yet because we have more than enough excess pops to handle this stuff. Okay, that's going to do some problems. But I assume that once these guys start hiring their troops, we'll have enough... Um, no, we need more. Okay, coal. We've introduced a lot of problems into our market. <laughs> For now, let's go ahead and take the paper mills off of that. We'll kick them over to sulfite bleaching one by one here. So we'll start with this one. This army also needs another general. So we'll throw in a... Uh, let's actually we'll promote one guy. Let's kind of handle these one by one. So, right now we're getting fertilizer and those things. That doesn't matter. Let's do our resources for coal. 40 per level. Beijing, let's get another f 7 here. That should deal with the sh coal shortage. Sulfur mine, Hinan, are you working? You're hiring. Hinan feels like a, a black hole as far as the pop. So let's go and build some in Shanxi here. There's a tree rebranded. We want to have the... Um... 
lose the rural folk approval. They're going to like us for passing this law anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then we need to do the iron. So iron, we could we could actually improve our tools. I know I said iron, but we mean tooling. If we build steel mills, it's going to cost 144 steel. And 144 steel can be made by a simple uh, three of these steel mills. So let's go ahead and do three of these in Jiangxi. And let's, in fact... Let's do these now. They'll get done faster. And move the fertilizer plants down to the bottom because those are still forked in Hinan. Hinan's a is a death pit. And no tooling, so our things are building slower. There's tenant farmers. Could I just double down and go homesteading? Probably not. Probably, probably not. Uh, race segregation is not bueno. Um, could I go... Actually, some is not the move. Agrarianism. We need to invent romanticism. Is that spreading? It is not. This is kind of a good chance to do this. Here's what we do. Sneak it in after railways. And then we hit these uh, breakpoints again. So we'll do nitroglycerin and water tube boiler. And that will all be fine. Checking in on our innovativeness. That's quite good. Let's double check our other things that we've built here. Make sure nothing can be further optimized. I could kick some of these over to hardwood focus. Uh, also sulfite. How's our demand for sulfur? We still have a shortage of it. But if I kick like one over... We can get there eventually. We'll, we'll work on it iteratively, as they say. Steel mills being built, coal is no longer an issue. I think our, our fertilizer plants actually kick in now. So if I look over here, all right, you're starting to actually produce stuff, which is good. This is all, all bueno. So our fertilizer situation is fixed. That's good. We are the second rank great power, by the way. I didn't notice that. Uh, go us. Oh, I'm also sitting on zero infamy. I need to... I was so caught up in the micro. I need to do something. Uh, did we have line of entry yet? We don't have line of entry just yet. So we need to do a war close to us that is not terrible here. So I can't just decorate you? Who else in this region can I bring in to our lovely, lovely nation? What if I were to just like transfer subject <laughs> probably not right 28 infamy to protectorate you and get Egypt involved Russia would side with us no one else matters we have 18 battalions Oh, Mr. Egypt. Hello, friend. Let's also just go ahead and uh, do some things here to get you in a good spot. We will sway Russia with call ally. We are going to ban slavery. Uh, we are going to open your market. And we will we'll rep you. Uh, Hejaz will eventually become ours. No reason to take a loss here. We're a little bit over our infamy cap. But that is the price of doing business, it seems. Um, we'll mobilize one army. I'm pretty sure Russia will win a naval invasion on one of these. Um, so maybe we'll have this army just ready to assist. I also see we're losing a lot of money now. That's a concern. I'm going to cut my government wages. Just a, just a tad. By just a tad, I mean by a ton. Also, the opium tax is now not profitable for us. That's probably why we're having that shortage here. We will tax liquor, because we have a huge excess of liquor. And we should be all right here. Cool. The Ottomans won't involve for a war goal. Fuck you. I'm not doing that. I can just get you to return stuff here. You know the claim on one of these regions. Let's see what's going on in... Senegal. It's a good region to care about. 
so our coal is still being made. Do I need, I do need more. So I will not begrudge that from happening. And maybe we need to start building up a navy that can actually do naval invasions with a large army here. Potentially. Potentially. Russia is immediately doing a naval invasion. I imagine they will win. Um, we're going to cause some problems with our own naval invasion. We're going to do it in a region that uh, they cannot defend at the same time. So they have to move two armies there. Split their forces. We're going to have terrible uh, efficiency there with a 200-man army with the 15 boats. But uh, uh, we just stack on each other's shoulders, uh, sol shoulders like we're a circus troop. So that's what we're doing. All right, this is going to get Egypt Prime to be occupied. And then by, by the time this is done, we should probably have our troops up with Dynam. What troops are they, these guys repping, by the way? They probably have line of entry, right? They do, and mobile artillery, so they're stronger than us. Um, at this point, I don't think cost advance matters. We're just going to do normal advances here. Everyone's going to be occupied dealing with the Russians. Who will just actually just land and take their capital. Bam. It's weird how they got Lower Egypt back, but now it's still not their capital anymore. Uh, this should all be over now that um What do we just what do we just get tech wise? I just missed that. Was that the That was best of processes. Okay, so kick our steel mills over. Uh, steel mills here. Also we need to turn on that just takes more iron. A best of processes takes more iron to produce more steel. Um, so you just, you know, increase your output at the cost of iron. And we're going to use this killing industries for our, uh, our, what's it called? Uh, tool plants anyway. So these guys will now be able to hire. And that should be all good for us. Still going to have the shortage of other stuff. Uh, we should win the battles that we're having here. Yeah, they're all bogged down. What is this? This is Hamburg. And I want to become my subject, Mr. Hamburg. Let's just see. Oh, I thought that was a become subject. I was almost excited. All right, this is all one. Thank you, Russia. We appreciate your help. Um, now, kindly uh, shove off. Get away from my subject. Uh, Dynam, can we, when can we bring you on board? You are a protectorate, right? Um, truces with... Oh, it's because we have an obligation with them. I see. So we can't do anything while they have an obligation. That's fair. That's a fair point. It's a fair point indeed. We're making money again. We still have lowered um, our expenses in a different way. We have a Sheba free interest. Let's get the one in Niger. And let's get one in Zanj. We're just going to try to claim dominion over Africa. As you do in this game. Because Africa has a lot of good use resources for us. And it looks like we're pretty much done with a lot of our shortages here. I don't know why our steel... We should have more than this. Where did I build these damn steel mills? Let's just see. Uh, if we look at our steel mills here, they're hiring. Okay, that's what it means. They just need to hire to get their uh, workforce met. Which is fine. Let's go and make sure we have some kind of homegrown industry for arms. And I want them to be in our capital. And then I think it's time we can invest in port infrastructure, right? Go where we have quite a few, and I want to get my convoys up so I can do more trade routes and make more money. Uh, particularly, I want to export some of our goods that are in high demand. Uh, maybe, for instance, the 500 of these to the French, though that productivity is god-awful terrible. What about this? Uh, 105 to the Russian for 11 productivity and no boats. That's great. Um, let's look at dyes. Um, 122 to the Austrian and the French sounds good. We'll let that just take route. Let's see how that looks for our trade routes. Let those kind of settle. We'll stop importing with the Russians because that's now unproductive. Um, and that's going to free us up a little bit more. We're making our money back. And I can maybe bump up the government wages eventually. Not right now, but eventually. Which is all good. All good. We're still building fertilizer plants. Do we actually need fertilizer plants? Uh, also, let's raise our government wages now that we just got that tech passed. So are we good on fertilizer? 
We're at 50. Okay, so it's still pretty expensive. Not too wild there. Need need more groceries, I, I could say. Let's queue up a grocery industry. Let's start building that out. Um, let's do that. And Southern and we will do four here, four here, and four here, since they have been built a little bit. And let's see. So they all have sweeteners. We're getting spread for canneries, which will get us an upgrade there. So that's all fine. There's the... Uh, okay, Napoleonic stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these units into the plain red banner. And we now we need to slowly upgrade our army, too. So we got to upgrade those guys to line infantry. That should be fine. And we'll probably use that to get us some interest down in this region here. Um, we could attack, like, Majertine and Worsingali and things. Um, how long is our queue? Two years. I, don't want, I could expand my construction capacity. I also should look at laws, right? I haven't taken a gander over here. How is everything looking? We have industrial... Well, these are all marginalized. What can we do? Homesteading could be good. Question is, can I pass something without absolutely decimating my approval with the scholar officials? I can't believe we have closed borders still. I forgot about that. So landowners don't hate commercialized agriculture. Question is, how do we get off this? I need to have romanticism, right? So we're getting that soon. In fact, we're getting the spread for it right now. Okay, once we get romanticism, we should be fine. Then we can do our next law. Everything will be waiting until we get that tech, which is fine. All right, I'm going to start working through our tech queue. We got some ports, got some food industries, um, and I'm going to wait until we can do some interactions with our subjects and get tired of from me. We're going to start looking to expand into this region. But I want to upgrade our banners a little bit here. Uh, screw this guy who wants to do autocracy. Um, you suck. I'd much rather have some other guy, but... Uh, we'll just let the queue kind of turn through and I'll bring you guys back. All right. Got to check in. We just unlocked railways, as you can see. And so now we can do a couple of things uh, to get some railways going. We also have not built any motor industries, I just realized. So maybe, maybe we need to build some of those. Let's go ahead and build like two of them in Jiangxi. And we're going to kick them above our food industries here. Uh, we're building some more government administrations because our crop growth is slowly costing us more and more. And that 1% tax waste is quite massive. I mean, the unrealized taxes is not all from tax waste. So uh, you want racial segregation. Uh, we will lose some of that. So I want to try something. It's very risky. But we have enough to try and make a push for homesteading or some other law that the landowners don't like. So if I went from census suffrage, only the landowners dislike us. That's 44% chance. What other laws would benefit us? I'm getting close to getting agrarianism. Consumption-based taxation is, is a trap. Um, I think we change our voting laws and go for census suffrage here. If we get this to pass, we're going to be in a really good spot. Problem is the scholar officials. Plus two from promoted prominent general. Loyalist in their pop, and then we also have minus one from having the last change to serfdom. If we get this passed, we'll be in a really good spot. The problem is the odds are not in our favor. We have to do good in the debate and hope we get lucky. If we don't get lucky, it is what it is. It's a shame. Uh, these things happen. I've also gone around and uh, got our subjects to be closer with us. Uh, people like Siam um, is now a... Uh, is a, is a dominion instead of their normal uh, protectorate. We're going to do the same with Dyn uh, Dynam there. Bring them into our fold. That'll give us some more funds. Uh, we're losing some money. I think it's because we have the negatives to our agriculture and ranching income because of the... the yeah, that's why we're losing money. Uh, which is fine. So, bonus production here isn't terrible. 50% or success chance, not production. That's actually really good for us. I don't mind that. Um, can we get any of these guys integrated better? So our truce, our obligation to Burma is 28 months. Our truce with Egypt is 28 months as well. Funny how that works. Um, and what do we want to do in the meantime? I need to still kick over all my 
uh, power or paper places to use sulfur. I'm slowly doing that. I also need to fix some of my other shortages of goods. Cough, cough. Okay, now we have the, the motor industry's getting built. Let's build some of these where they're needed. Beijing's getting one just naturally. We'll do one in Henan as well. Arts Academy, Agrarianism, Industry Band, and Greener Grass Campaign. That's good. We want to build one of the Arts Academies because that's actually our most expensive good right now is the Arts Academy. So we'll throw that in Beijing as well. I like the idea of having it in our capital. Uh, make it a center of the arts. So that's all good here. Look at our journal entries. We can do rail industry. 20% uh, of eligible building has rail industry. And motor industry in each state has a railway. Steam engine time, you need to have a level 3 motor industry. And a rail railway in a neighboring state. And have romanticism. Okay. What does this do? So you get the bonus. Access chance. Sure. Um, I need to get this up a little bit more. So that needs to be to two. We're going to do these general entries that we have. So let's get Ransom first. So it needs to be level two and have a lot of people working at it. That's fine. Steam engine time. You need to have motor industry, level three, and a railway that's 75% met. So let's see. Our motor are in Jiangxi. You're up to level three. So let's do another one. That'll get you all set up. And we're going to also throw in a railway here in the same state. We'll go level four for you. We'll do one over there. That's good. And then we'll have to do we'll have to do branching out differently because twenty percent of eligible building with rail transportation is a yikes. So let's get the railway built because I can just toggle that on, get the thing, and then toggle it off, and we should be fine. So that's getting figured out. The lack of funds is another problem. We'll do our taxes over there. What what, what has changed to make that the way it is? What is so expensive? Government wages. Um, government administrations is the main cost are there. It all comes from paper. So you need more paper. What if I were to just kick this over right away? Also, public transit is a good thing. We'll kick that over. That'll actually drive the adoption of the motor industries. So that's going to be good. Ignore the shortage for now. If we look at our paper and I just kick it over to sulfite bleaching, do it now. We make more money because we have now paper being processed. We're going to have a shortage of sulfur. That's fine. If we go and look at our sulfur over here, I can just import while we have uh, other things in our queue. So, um, look at these. So we get Confucian Scholars, get Radical, or I can do... Who's Liu Wei? Can I just get rid of this dude? You're not helping me. Who's the current guy in charge here? Right now you're a loyalist. Do I care more about the loyalist or about the authoritarianism? I'm doing voting laws, so yeah, get the hell out of here. Exile. And then we will actually get Lei Wang out here. And lose the 10%. We need the debate chance to happen. Okay. So our sulfur, is that getting fixed? Yes, it is getting fixed. We're meeting our sulfur demand naturally. Love to see that. Don't pause. We're all good. Okay, I like doing the micro in this game instead of doing my constant warmongering. It's nice to have a, a change of things. Still need more steel mills. Is that true or is that a lie? No, these guys just need more money, which means we need to get more coal. Can I import some coal? to fix some of our problems here. I could build more coal mines, that's for sure. Let's import some for now. Uh, let's do it from... I like the 303 from... Okay, yeah, we'll do the second highest one. And that'll generate us some profit. Anyone else who I can bring closer to being a puppet? Dominions. Sounds like a no. Oh, oh you, you. 48% chance of Tibet not accepting. Why is Tibet so against being my puppet, you jerk? Whatever. Um, let's see if I can get involved somewhere else. Marina Kingdom. 23 troops, no boats. Is it worthwhile to get involved over here? 
Centers break ranks. Take the stall for 15%. Come on. Get lucky here. Get lucky. This is the, our best shot is while these guys still have... Um... You now endorse it? What? That's weird. That seems like it's broken. Won't question anything there, though. If it benefits us. Okay, so we're getting through our arts academies. Um, steam engine time. And it can stay as a railway. We actually need to adjust our railways. We're going to make our railways government ran. Oh, I want to do that. Can I do that? What do I need here? Oh, we need agrarianism to do that. That'll be our next law, is agrarianism. 100%. And we could kick these things over to demanding railroads, but that's just going to cause us problems right now. All right, so I think we just wait. How's our food industries? Are they making... Uh, they should be making some profit. Now, this is a bad... I'm doing a bunch of export routes for silk because uh, it's profitable. So hopefully we will get a good return on some of these. Or import routes for some of these things that are also in high demand. Hmm. Like how we still have welfare payments. Why don't, why don't we uh, cut those out? We'd be doing a lot worse if we didn't have those. Standard living is actually not terrible in a lot of our states. How is your railway? I need to build one faster than we currently have. Get another one at the top. All right, so there is the these guys being angry. What has changed? You were at three plus. What did we lose the, the five from? Is it worth going to wharf over this? Let's think about the ups and downs here. The upside is that we can get our laws passed really fast. We could probably chain a couple of them. The downside is it's going to really slow our growth and hurt our economy. They're also going to pull out all of our... Yeah, it's... We'll stop the law. I was kidding. I was kidding. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, get back in power, please. Thank you. And now let's go ahead and do agrarianism. It was only a joke. Only a joke. Please don't be mad. Please don't be mad. I can see we're making a lot of money again because uh, they now aren't cutting our taxes off of the... They're not giving us on the tax front. Um, let's go back to paying our government. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Move our toys and lancers. We still need to upgrade our forces there, which is, that's a daily reminder of. We're getting more railways, but let's look at what we actually have shortages of. So we need more motor industries. That's getting actually... Let's look at our industry for motor industries. So steel mills are in the queue. You can't hire. Is it qualifications? Let's look at Jing Shi. What is your qualifications? It says you have enough. Explain to me what's going on here. Is it your productivity being terrible? It's because you have no steel. But the steel mill isn't hiring because they need more coal. So I guess we just have to produce the throughput of that. So let's go ahead and throw more coal mines in Beijing. Again, we do... Let's just get Beijing up to cap, by the way. Let's just do it. Give me a... There's a railway getting built there. That's all fine. Um, we want to get Beijing up because it's our capital. They have the throughput bonus. That's like the best state bonus we have right now is that 10% coal mines building throughput. It just make it more valuable and get us more stuff out of that. Hopefully agrarianism passes faster. Never mind. It failed in the debates. Great. Um, and then we have our arts academies. This is fine. Let's kick one of the food industries down. I don't want to worry too much about that. How is our Arts Academy? Do we need to kick on realism? No, they have it. That's fine. Anything else we can check here? We're about to put a cut in. Uh, we're getting to that time, but let's just double check our stuff is all running the way we want it to before we call this one for now. We're at full on in Sulfite. Steel Tools is fine. A lot of glass you would think would be good, but it actually is not going to increase our production of ceramics. We need Bone China for that, which requires chemical bleaching. 
Custom tooling is fine. What are you running? We already have this kind of split, right? We do, and that's all fine. We don't have, we have a huge excess of, of, of uh, alcohol, so that stuff doesn't matter. Not kicking over to rail industry just yet, because we can't really afford it. And everything else should be fine. All right, that's all running well. Let's see what we're going from here. We're going to get our, we're going to get our uh, journal entries done. Uh, we can remove the ban and open, but we won't. National Engine is fine. We need to make some efforts there. We're going to try to get agrarianism. Um, I want to get us into a good spot, and we might look at having some civil wars in the future if we can't get rid of what these scholar officials are are suffering from here. Um, but they're very small radical pop, man. Yeah, we need them to like us more. I need to have a good guy in charge of these guys. All right, so we just keep getting the rural folk stronger. We're going to ride with the rural folk, because rural folk will ride with us. Um, and we're going to try to get some uh, good people in power here somehow. We need a good agitator. Yeah. Maybe we try to get involved in some of these uh, different wars that we have going on here. Uh, but for now, I think it's time for us to put a cut in. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been John the Spooskooners, and I'll catch you next one. Later.